Hi everyone and good afternoon, doctor. My name is Ma Ying and my metric number is two zero four three four zero. So today I will present my lesson plan. The content about my lesson plan is teach students how to use uh, some uh, reading skills. So the type of reading text that I choose is narrative. And the uh, reading skills of skimming and scanning I need to be uh, build activities in the lesson I design to help students with their reading training. So since reading comprehension of English language learners varies widely and depending on students' levels of uh, language proficiency. So the students I'm targeting are uh, level five. So these students display good understanding of the reading skills in identifying the main ideas and the specific de details in a text, and shows positive um, attitude in using dictionary skills to check meaning and guess the meaning of unfamiliar um, words correctly. And this place uh, interest to read and understand clearly a variety of fiction or non-fiction text uh, with some guidance. So all the text I provide are from the very famous novel uh, that is Les Miserables, so which I think is long and difficult. Students are challenged to read this book, so my activities are relatively simple so. so now i will go through my course in detail step by step my class duration is planned to an hour i do this in the same dash first it's also related to my uh, peer lesson so the main content is to greet students with a friendly and enthusiastic attitude and then ask students a few questions the content of the questions is also related to reading and reading skills. The purpose is to simulate the establishment of student perceptions and reflections on reading. So after this, I will tell the students our learning objective and we will uh, then get to the point. So by the end of the lesson, students will be able to First one, students can read quickly for a general impression of the text through skimming. Second, uh, quickly find the information, for example, vocabulary uh, given by the teacher from the text. The last one is uh, in the course of quickly skimming and scanning the text, students can capture the effective information in the text and uh, express uh, and uh, uh, describe it in their own way. Okay, let's continue. So the first stage of the course is the pre-reading stage. Uh, I will spend 10 minutes uh, doing a very simple activity in this stage. The content of the activity is the teacher prepare a text, also uh, less miserable. So the teacher will ask, ask the students to complete the reading within the uh, specified time. And then the teacher asks the students to stop reading and asks the students to use one minute to recall what they had uh, just read. And then the teacher will guide the student to memorize the text they just read and write it down. So according to this activity, I mean the text I took out was a, a description of uh, reversion from Les Mis Revo. So uh, this fragment is probably about 115 words, I think. So And the uh, specified time is one minute. So the content is relatively simple, I think. And uh, there is no proficiency or professional uh, terminology and students can quickly scan and uh, read extensively to get an impression of the text. So according to their reading habits and uh, method, they can capture and memorize uh, effective information and finally memorize it with the help of the teacher, me. 
So this activity first helps students improve their、uh, reading speed and stimulate their、uh, brain power and the student sensitivity to text. The second part is a well reading stage. So the teacher prepare a text, and then at the same time the teacher gives some、uh, vocabulary from the text. And the teacher will ask the students to quickly scan the text within the specified time, and find the same vocabulary from the text the teacher gave out and circle it. So the teacher checks the students'、uh, degree of completion. So the whole activity、uh, time is about five minutes. So this is a relatively、uh, fast paced. And very small exercise, I think, is very simple. So it can also be sent as a small game. Uh, can let students uh compete in our class. So we will see who is uh in a fixed time find all the words that uh need to be found. So I picked out uh some words from various places in this passage, like this. Uh, invalid, a pa a parrot, sick, uh, facial, and so on. So students need to find and circle this word from the original text I have given within uh one minute, uh like this. So for this uh activity, I use skin reading skills, um, which help reader learn to. Uh, look for the location of the specific information required. Uh, the third part is the post reading stage. So the teacher prepare a text. The teacher asks the student to scan and scan the text quickly. After the student read the text, the teacher asks the student to analyze the per、uh, personality of the characters in the Text through their own understanding of the text, and then teacher discuss uh the, the students uh answers, um we will uh talk about this together. So I would ask students to circle the evidence that they can use as analyze characters, depending on how the scan uh scan is read. Uh, that is uh, looking for specific information from reading text, such as the characters, uh, setting or a plot. So, um, but uh, because of the time, so the text that I look for is short, like like this. So here are three fragments that uh, um illustrate the character traits and the qualities of a character. So. That uh the information students find in this activity can be some words or some sentences, so the characters in the text can be analyzed through the information they have uh mastered. So the entire reading process also uh requires students to complete in a re uh relatively short period of time. So after the students have their own conclusions, I will discuss with them what they think about this, and、uh, the purpose of this activity is to enable uh students to read with、uh, confidence and enjoyment, and to use their own methods to construct meanings for the theme or characters of the novel. So after these three activities, we will be going to the post lesson, which I set a longer time. I give this part twenty minutes because uh, I will uh do the following uh six points uh, like this. So about my post lesson, I will review the topics they have learned today. And I will ask students for their own opinion and insights on the topic as feedback because I need to evaluate my course, right? So, um,、uh, I will ask students like, uh, how do you feeling today? Uh, what do you learn today? And uh, um, what do you think about uh today's class? Like this. So the teacher will uh review again the 
definition of two uh, reading skills, skimming and scanning. Uh, and then I will ask the students if they had uh, uh, mastered the reading skills through this lesson. And then I will thank uh, the students for the response and the listening and the class is mis uh, dismissed. So the main purpose of the six points is to consolidate uh, what the students have learned today and what I need to know about the uh, mis uh, mystery of the student to evaluate this class. So after I have done this assignment based on my understanding and thought, uh, I will show my uh, opinion about uh, the advantages and disadvantages of scheming and scanning. So the advantages of this reading skills is First one, the reading skills of scheming and scanning can improve reading speed and improve, improve vocabulary. Second, this skill uh, can also improve and expand the short-term reading uh, volume and expand the amount of knowledge and information. The third is quickly find the main information in the book and help students to read quickly and have a general impression of the text. The fifth is the, the first is uh, there is no high requirement for readers uh, reading level. So next is uh, disadvantages. First, there are limitations that to choose text not suitable for long, difficult and more professional uh, novels. And then it's easy to ignore the important and uh, delicate parts of the book and lose the opportunity to be in inspired and deeply uh, comprehended from the book. The third is uh, cope with the laziness habit of reading. So uh, in general, also scheming and scanning reading skills have the benefit of saving time, expanding reading uh, volume, and improving vocabulary. But I am a student, so as a student, my advice to students is read with thinking. Rather than scheming to get some key information, it's just fine. So when the reading brain schemes like this, it's reduced the time allocated to uh, uh, deep reading processes. In other words, uh, we don't have time to uh, grab uh, complexity and to understand others' feelings, to perceive beauty, and to create source of the reader's own. Uh, for students who are learning English, uh, scheming makes uh, students think lazy and uh, locks the ability to think systematically and judge. So although students uh, have read a lot of books, they cannot talk about and think about the content of the books in depth. So it's also a uh, lack of black paper. So that's all my opinion and that's all my uh, uh, presentation. Thanks for uh, listening and uh, have a good day. Thank